The Witcher Season 2, starring Henry Cavill, is now out on the Netflix for you guys to go and check out. This is the continuation of Season 1, where we pick up right where we left off, with Geralt looking after Ciri and going on an adventure to discover what makes her so special, why has he been asked to look after her, and why does everyone else want her? That's what we're going to discuss. Let me know in the comments below, what you guys think of Season 2? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Let's get a discussion going. And don't forget to click that like button as well. It helps me out. And don't forget to click subscribe as well so you don't miss any more videos. I have plenty of other videos for you guys to check out as well after this video, of course. So let's get into this review of Season 2 of The Witcher. Okay, so season two is now done and dusted. Eight episodes again. I've watched all of them. What are my thoughts? Firstly, let's get to season one here. I did like season one. I did have some issues with season one. I thought the way they told it was very confusing. And I do know some people that did watch the first season but tapped out because it was too confusing to follow. Season two, however, does not have that problem. So I can tell you right now, if you did get through the first season and you didn't like that storytelling aspect... You'll be completely fine with Season 2 as we tell it as it's supposed to be from start to, to end. It's just that one narrative. But is Season 2 as good as Season 1? Oh my god, Season 2 is so freaking good. Season 2 is way better than the first season. And there are a lot of reasons to why this season is a lot better. And why now I'm super excited for Season 3 of The Witcher and all the spin-offs that are coming. Because Season 2 is freaking incredible. Where do I begin? You have to obviously begin with season two really revolves around one major plot line, and that is the relationship between Gerald, uh, Gerald and what's her name, Siri. It's really around their relationship. Obviously, Siri has something about her that everyone's after. That is the main driving force of the story: is her abilities. What is so special about her? Why does everyone want her? which you discover in this season, which is incredible. And also, their relationship is what carries this for me. I love the relationship between Siri and Geralt. I think that is what carries this season onwards and onwards and makes you so invested is because you care about these two main characters. Geralt goes through a transformation and a character arc that is absolutely incredible. He goes from this fierce warrior that doesn't care about anything else but himself to this father-like figure for her. I loved that. And he is willing to lay his life on the line for this girl. That's how much he cares. And there is so many references throughout Season 2 that show you this, that they both see each other as father and daughter. They have that sort of bond and relationship. And it's so incredible. He is so good, and the performance by Henry Cavill is so freaking amazing. I love Henry Cavill. You guys know I love Man of Steel, and I love him as that. I love his other movies that he's in. I've always loved him ever since I first saw him in Immortals. I've loved Henry Cavill. And this is, he was born to play the Witcher. He is the Witcher. He is Geralt. He is meant to play this character. He looks freaking incredible. He's perfect for the role, and he performs it greatly. Then we go to the counterpart there, and we go to Siri. She is an incredible. I really thought I wasn't going to like her. I really thought she was going to be a damsel in distress most of the time, but she's not. They take great care of her character. She goes on a character arc as well, and a self-discovery arc, which I really appreciated, where she starts to figure out things about herself, and she also figures out what she wants to do, and what she's capable of, and what she wants. I really like that. And then having... Geralt there by her side was incredible as well as he helps her through this journey. It's all about them. It's so good. Then we go to Jennifer. Jennifer, however they say it. I'm pretty sure it's like that. They say it in a weird accent. She has her own character arc as well after the events of Season 1. We follow her as well. And she has motives throughout this season that makes sense to me. I really enjoyed her. Not just because of her looks, but because her character is so interesting. She loses her powers at the end of Season 1, and now she's on a self-discovery of trying to figure out 
Is that all she is? Is she just power? And she wants that power back. And without it, she feels like there's n she has nothing. So she goes on this self-discovery journey as well, which I really, really like. We also meet old characters and we also get introduced to new characters, which I really liked as well. There's some cool new characters that I really enjoyed. And some of the old ones that came back, I loved as well. We also brought in a new plot plot line as well with the elves there's a lot of stuff with the elves and humans that I really enjoyed as well and that's going to be part of that spin-off that's coming because the spin-off is before um, Geralt is in in this world and they are going to explore the human and elvic clash war whatever you want to call it the battle between them the divide and we are going to get that and in this season we got more of that and that was really really good I, i'm liking the elves a lot so i'm looking forward to seeing more of that in season three because there's going to be a big thing that there's something that really happens in this episode that you're kind of like okay stuff's about to get wacky well not wacky but it's supposed to get insane it's going to be insane. We also got this amazing world building. The world building in this season is so good. They expanded this whole world to extreme extreme circumstances. Like there is there is so much lore and so much depth to this world that I didn't even know existed. I've never played the games, but now they are exploring that and I like that stuff. When you bring in the lore, when you bring in the world building of all these unique things, it makes it so interesting for me. I have to talk about the design of designs of the monsters in this one. Oh my god, the designs for the monsters are incredible. There is this one particular monster that looks absolutely insane. It's a flying one. It's insane. It looks so cool. And I really like that. I like the design of them. They are, some of them are freaky as hell, and some of them are just really, really cool. And the fight sequences are incredible as well with the monsters. I love it. And there is this one fight sequence with um, Geralt as well, where we get to see him actually at his peak and really show off. And I really like that a lot. It was bloody, it was gory. I just, it was really, really good. The cinematography is fantastic. The locations are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know where they shoot this, but it looks freaking amazing and I want to go there. The score and music are incredible as well. Just everything about The Witcher Season 2 is incredible. It's a massive step up for me from Season 1. And now I'm super excited for the spin-offs and I'm super excited for Season 3. Get it going. I want to see it now. I want to see Henry Cavill come back as Geralt. I really like this season. A lot. This is the best video game adaptation that I think we've ever had. It's so incredibly good. So let me know in the comments below, what did you guys all think of Season 2? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down in the comments below. Smash that like button for me and click subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.